He always Rob tells you exactly how he's feeling. He'll tell you everything's in control. And Hogan, for a break, a throw for tops. This is a superb start. Game shot on the first leg. Just Paul Hogan. Finishing like where he left off yesterday. I must admit, I've been super impressed with Paul Hogan the past four weeks. And I'm here at Tough I mean, when he plays, he heart on the sleeve, etc. 20 for tops. Would be a hold a throw. Game shot on the third leg. Start of the night. Adam the quality Hunt. in Group B yesterday, I didn't think was going to be surpassed tonight. It was that good. I've been mightily impressed with this group. You feel the winner tomorrow night is going to come from this group. Would very much be this man. 66 left, so chance of treble 10 or bullseye. 130. This could be one of those legs for Adam Hunt where he does nothing wrong. Is it 100, a 140, Whoa, a maximum, and he might not get a chance? 56. It's two darts, a double 18, just takes his time. He doesn't want to go down that double nine route. Eggs in the one basket. Game Absolutely. Paul Hogan, match. Adam Hunt. Paul well done Hogan. to both of you. That was a terrific game. But Paul Hogan is playing some of the best darts I've seen for many a year. For Adam Hunt, no panic yet. Looks like he's still in good nick. And look at those numbers. That was terrific. Paul Hogan has put himself in a wonderful position for qualification. And next up, Tabo Tracol against Stu Wilson. If Tracol wraps this up 4 2. Mission accomplished in the end for Tebow Tricol. He knew the importance of the two points in that game. But Stu Wilson was right behind and he could still play a major role in this Group B. Just a little bit stop-start on the finishing for Stu Wilson. That was the difference between the pair of them, but it was a tight affair. Tebow Tricol was excellent on his doubles and that was a real steady 58 at the end. And he is now right in the mix. Another blockbuster game's up next. It's Paul Hogan against Chaz Barstow. Mistakes from Paul Hogan. We've just seen mistakes from Paul Hogan. Will we see more? Game shot on the second leg. Back Paul Hogan. to normal. Straight away there for Paul Hogan. Requiring 47. Two darts away. For Paul Hogan. Game a very shot solid, the match. professional Paul performance Hogan. from Paul Hogan. He looks sensational this week. A real potential winner. You wouldn't think so. He puts his arms up there, but I think Paul Hogan is looking as good as ever. That is not Charles Barstow. That is not what I was expecting from him. He's got work to do because Thibaut Tricol is lurking behind him. For Hogan, job done. Huge game coming up next. Stay with us for that one. Thibaut Tricol against Adam Hunt. And these are the types of finishes that Tebow didn't look comfortable last night. But we know on most days, the first it's meat day. and drink. One Tebow nil to the Trinko. Frenchman. The to get up and running here. First part of the job done. Game a lot more relaxation day. in that throw. Adam Sometimes Hunt. you need a punch on the nose, as a boxer would say. Game so, for the match. Game Adam Hunt shot from 2 0 the down, then rolled up four Hunt. legs in the end. He'll be a relieved man to get over the line against Tebow Tricol because he was just beginning to show signs that the real fight back was on for Adam Hunt. Despite that horrible second leg where it was missed dart after missed dart to average just shy of 93. That's an excellent performance from the man from County Durham. Big game coming up next for Chaz Barstow. He plays Stu Wilson. This game's warming up nicely. Game that means more Game to Barstow than it does Stu Wilson. Chaz and an 11 Barstow. dart leg there for Chaz Barstow after all those missed doubles in the last leg. Don't miss the 14, Stu. Treble is the bonus. And that's not too bad. That's a happy accident, at least 41. And this is for the match. Double 16. And Game Stu Wilson gets his first two match. points of his Group B Stu campaign Wilson. against the disappointing Chaz Barstow. Group B all of a sudden has got very, very excited. And the big winner there was Thibaut Tricol. Thibaut Tricol will be up next against the oh-so-impressive Paul Hogan. That's up next. Yeah, no need to panic. There's left the two darts at a finish that these guys will practice an awful lot. But Paul Hogan's going to leave this pretty. Can he get another treble to really put pressure on that 52? He can. 140. These we are important 52? moments for Thibaut Tricol. Two darts, double 16. 
He resets. He refocuses. Game three, show one. the four flag. That's Tebow Treacle. To do. And we can see off this 116, this group is going to get mightily interesting. You know, ironic. The double he needs is double 18. The go to for Paul Game Hogan. Game shot is welcome Tebow to the Trinkle. party. We've been waiting for that performance from the Frenchman. Performance from Charles Barnes, though, averaging over 100. This looks a different man all of a sudden, doesn't he? This would be special. This Game would be the highest the finish of the week. Leg. Chaz Barstow, where has this performance come from? Absolutely class. Four flag, it's Adam to throw first. Game on. And is that the beginning of the end for Adam Hunt in this match? Chaz has leaves them 54. For a big 14. Oh, a dart of the match, and that Game is some performance from Chaz Barstow. He says, Chaz where has Barstow. that come from? And Adam Hunt says, why me? Real solid, solid performance from Charles Bass. It wasn't look at, looking good for him at some stages of tonight, but that's the calibre of the man. And look at the numbers there, 95.88. That's staggering, 167, the best finish of the night. Four from six, superb, Charles Bass, though. As next up, it's Stu Wilson against Paul Hogan. Look at treble 15 or treble 19 for double 14. This will be his finish of the week. Game shot in the third leg. Still Wilson. Saying, Where have them finishers been? In control of this game, it's tops to win the group. Game tops it is. Paul Hogan the will be there on Saturday Paul night Hogan. as the group B winner. And for Stu Wilson, he will be back. He's still got a really important part to play as he plays Adam Hunt for a big game, the penultimate game of Group B. It's Tebow Tricol against Chaz Barstow up next. Kind of ferocity that can do good on a Saturday night. Can he get there? Double six for Tricol. Game show on the first this leg. Could get interesting. Tebow Tricol. Like we said, Tebow Tricol needs to win this match a minimum 4 2. It requires 78. I think it comes down to does Chaz Barstow actually believe it? Game show on the third leg. Tebow Tricol. Phew, he says. Ooh, that he's 80 points 80. away from achieving that. Job Game done for Tebow Tricol. It's a difficult Tebow task to beat Transbastor for one, but he's done that, and it's over to you, Adam Hunt. Didn't expect this Group B campaign to go down the last game, but that's exactly what he does. Very professional from the Frenchman as he saved his best to last while the final game is up next. It's Adam Hunt against Stu Wilson. Game shot in the second That's one gone. Stu Wilson. One down. Three to go for Stu Wilson in a chance to put Tebow Tricol through and take out Adam Hunt. Look at Adam. I can imagine... You're a bit further down. You don't want to speak about it too much. Game but shot that the third is leg. game over. Adam Table Hunt. done. Qualification confirmed. Adam Hunt completes the lineup going into well, Saturday night. We now goals. know all game six on. players. Yeah, that was a little wild. No score. And we require one. Could have half a dozen at that double one. Can Adam Hunt put this game to bed? It hasn't been pretty. He can do it. Another chance 60. for Wilson. Still, you require two. His last effort was a little bit wild. He raises his eyebrows there. I think he wants this match over as much as anybody. While the score is 3 1, you're still in it, Stu. No score. Just not to beat. Stuart, he shouts. 40. And Adam Hunt. Wins game the game 4 1. And, and Adam Hunt is the Adam final Hunt. piece of the jigsaw for what should be a sensational finals tomorrow night. All to play for for the Hunter. And what an exciting game we've got coming up for tomorrow night. But Adam Hunt stays out that game 4 1. Fantastic on the outer ring. He moves to finals night. Indeed, he does. Thank you very much, Glenn. Matt Edgar alongside me up here on the balcony to assess. What we've seen this evening and what looked like at times what could have been a drama-free evening was anything but.
said at the very start of the night that it was one of those sort of evenings where you're looking at the table and you're looking at the fixtures and you go, this could be over after two games and we could have seven or eight games where it's not really going to be affected in the table. But it ended up coming down to the very, very last game and sort of the very last couple of legs there. Adam Hunt needed two legs in that last match. He got them quite early. Played very well at times tonight, Adam Hunt. And I did say on commentary that I feel that he's going to be the guy that might just show us that little bit of class going into tomorrow. Well, let's have a look at the results then from tonight's session, just to round up exactly what we have seen in Group B. As far as Tiba Tricol is concerned, it's a good night for him, but realistically, the damage was done yesterday. It was, and I say the damage was probably done in the game against Adam Hunt as well. He went 2-0 up in that game. Adam Hunt did play extremely well to turn that around. His average rocketed up to the 92 mark from down near enough by the 60s. But Thibaut Tricol, 2-0 up. There was that leg that got him 2-0 up as well where both players were missing lots of darts at the double. Adam Hunt just put his head down and got on with it where Tricol just carried on missing and just had a bit of lag from that moment. As far as the group is concerned, it was dominated by Paul Hoka, Crocodile Dundee, who's been well playing some of the best starts that we've seen from him in a while. Yeah, the past month has been very good for Paul Hogan. Glenn Durant was speaking about how well he played at the seniors. He beat Scott Mitchell in the opening game there. And I've said it many times tonight, you start writing Paul Hogan off. And how many times has this happened, though, throughout his career where people have started to write him off and then he just finds something extra. He qualifies for a big event. He goes and wins a title and just reminds you the quality that he possesses. Most well, certainly. And we saw some quality from Chaz Barso towards the end of the evening. It was a slow start for him. But look, if you're going to save your best, save your best with a 167. What a game that was as well. Most of the match running well over 100 average throughout, and he really shown us that Chaz Barstow quality. It'll be good to see him through. It'll be nice if he can get some support down here tomorrow night. I know there's going to be quite a lot of people down here from what we've heard so far in regards to the tickets that have gone out. Now Barstow's in, I'm sure family and friends are going to wake up in the morning, see him through. We might even see this place full tomorrow night. He may well be, and we're going to see Adam there as well. We can show you how he qualified here. And he did a couple of legs against Stu Wilson, and in the end, he made no mistake of that. I think the mistake really was from Stu Wilson, just kept giving him opportunity after opportunity, especially in that last leg of that match. And that's sort of been the story for Stu Wilson throughout this week. But... There's plenty still to play for tomorrow for both of these players. Stu Wilson will be coming in to take on Grundy mm -hmm. for one of those ADC belts. Meanwhile, Adam's going to be here trying to get that place in Champions Week and the £5,000. Well, let's have a look then at the final standings in Group B because we can confirm Paul Hogan is a victor. 12 points to his name. Adam Hunt on 10. Chaz Barstow on 8 points. But the surmountable legs difference means that Debo Dracol, the French touch, has been eliminated. Right, that is how the table rounds up. Let's see how the groups occupy themselves for tomorrow evening. This is a first glance of what we've got to look forward to tomorrow night. Let's begin with Group 1, because the top two names there, Barry Vampire, Robert Thornton, that is just nasty. I think the whole group is quite nasty, really. So whoever goes out of that group is probably going to feel a bit harshly treated. That could be a Champions Week finals night group, that one right there. And it makes my prediction of Adam Hunt potentially being the man to come through this a little bit more tentative because he's going to have to really go some to get through both Robert Thornton and Barry Vampire. But one thing we do know is Robert Thornton has not played his best starts on a Saturday night. He's not going to like what he sees when he sees that group. That's a bowl of sick group, isn't it? <laughs> to go back to your famous analogy. Uh, Paul Nicholson's, actually, that was when uh, he talked about ordering some fancy dish and end up with a bowl of sick instead of it. That's kind of what you get there. You get through to Saturday night, you think, oh, happy days, I'm going to be with the opportunity to win so, and now you've got to go through potentially one of the hardest groups we've ever seen. Well, it's going to be some night tomorrow, and we're looking forward to it, aren't we, very much so. Yeah, it's one of those sort of groups that, or one of those evenings where I don't think we can really hang our colours to something and say that player's the favourite. Be really interested to see how the bookies split these up tomorrow and see what they think is the favourite. I think they're going to go with Barry Vampire on the fact that he's top of the Challenge Tour Order of Merit in the year that he's had and he's won on this stage before. I think that's going to be a big telling factor. But I don't see where the favourite is tomorrow. I think it's all to play for. 
We're going to find out tomorrow night. Matt's going to be in the company of the 2015 World Champion, Scott Mitchell, for all of the action. I hope you can join us as well. We're going to begin at half past seven here on the Super Series YouTube channel before joining our friends over at Sporty Stuff TV from 10 p.m. to see the semi-finals and final culminate. But as far as uh, Group B is concerned here at the Super Series, it is Crocodile Dundee who is top of the pile. Good darts, Mike. Thank <laughs> you.